Hello everybody and thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to the ear, nose and throat doctor. This is going to be an important video because after my AGA consultation with the dentist, he recommended before I start the treatment with the AGA appliance that I get my tonsils and my tongue tie, my tonsils removed and my tongue tie released. So I'm going to consult with the ear, nose and throat doctor, see what he has to say about my situation, my health status. Uh, I'm going to go in there as a patient and I'm not going to go in there and put ideas in his head at first. I'm just going to let him examine me, examine me and give me his honest examination. After I see how he examines me, I can then start asking him questions on his thoughts about my tongue and, and, and my tonsils. But I want to see what he, he does and how he looks at things before I put ideas in his head. Maybe I can learn something that I don't, I don't know. So that's the plan i will update you guys after i consult with the with the ent and kind of tell you my thoughts on how that went and uh where are we going with this treatment So just got sent down from the doctor's office. It's going to be, he's running late, an hour late. And, and the receptionist was kind of rude about it. She's like, you can either wait an hour and he will see you. He's willing to see you or you can go down to the, or we can reschedule you basically. So not the greatest first impression. Uh, however, you know, I, I want to see, see him and see what he, his input on my situation is. Um, welcome to the healthcare industry. So, uh, We'll see how it goes. Uh, first, just my first impression from his office. His office is a little small and, and it, there's a lot of people waiting there. Uh, people are just kind of slouched down and, and uh, they're in pain. And everybody's kind of waiting and he's just delayed. <laughs> he had sign, the, the, they had signs up on the walls of like, uh, some funny signs I'll, I'll, I'll put up. <laughs> But it's, it's just, it gives you the impression that it's just, it feels a little dense in the room. Uh, regardless though, you know, it is what it is. I, I, what I would say is I have, I have high standards for, um, for health and, and, and really like anything, I want to perform at, high, at a high level, specifically health. Health is your most important thing in this life. Hey guys, just got back from the uh, doctor and uh, overall it went okay. He went ahead and assessed me, but he didn't really offer me any solution to my symptoms. I asked him to look at my tongue tie and he literally just peeked inside my mouth for a second and he said, no, you, you're not. Um, so not a very thorough examination uh, like I hoped for. Uh, re regarding my tonsils, he looked, he examined them. He noticed they were quite large, but he didn't really recommend anything. Um, and where I'm on, where I stand on my tonsils, I see more drawbacks than benefits to removing them. I personally believe, you know, your body was designed for a reason and, and my tonsils aren't quite so big that it's like you need to get them removed. So I personally don't have my heart set on that. Uh, I do believe that, however, getting my tongue tie released would be wise because if the tongue has full mobility to the tongue has full mobility to 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 move and support and rest at the at the the upper the palate, and uh, once it does that, it's able to promote jaw developments. Uh, and 
nasal breathing and correct swallowing patterns. So I do believe that is wise because if it's, if your tongue's resting low in your mouth and it's not able to sit at the roof of your mouth and not able to contribute to, to it's basically a retainer if you think about it, your tongue's a retainer. And if it's not able to, to, if you're not able to get your tongue up there at the roof of your mouth, um, then uh, yeah, I could, that could uh, de deter um, uh, advances in, in my treatments. So not quite the examination or appointment that I wished for uh, in terms of examining the tongue and, and how we how we went about everything. Be, uh, and, I, and I know how and I know the basics of it because I've done a lot of research on how to assess tongue ties and and uh, just how to have a proper assessment of, of the airway and uh, that wasn't done. So um, it is what it is. What's more disappointing, I would say, is that with my insurance, they won't cover a procedure unless it is approved by the doctor. And since the doctor just, you know, he just said, you're basically, he didn't recommend anything. I basically, if I want to get this procedure, I have to pay for this. So it's quite a few things now on my mind uh, that I have to consider. I have to consider that, hey, if I want to get this tongue tie release, I'm going to have to pay out of pocket for this procedure. And that's, that's money right there that I haven't, I thought that that was going to be, you know, taken care of by the insurance, but uh, it might not. And that's expenses that change the game, uh, change uh, how I go about things. So we're talking tongue tie released, and then we're talking the AGA treatment, the AGA appliance treatment, which again, insurance does not cover that. I am fully going to be funding that. And so now we're talking about like two things right there, which, uh, I have to consider, I mean, these are the large, uh, this is a large amount of money. So I have to really just sit down and see what is the best option to go about this. Again, I am committed to, to healing myself and, and treating this, treating my symptoms. And, and, and uh, I truly believe in the AGA treatment. I, uh, I want to optimize the treatment though. And, I, and if getting the tongue tie release prior to that is, uh, is wise, um, then I think it's, it's just good to do so. Uh, it's just, what I'm saying basically is timeline wise, things might be, things are going to be affected because, uh, obviously money, man, money, money matters. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna have to work and, and work hard to save up for these, uh, procedures and, 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 um, treatment plans. So yeah, um, uh, again, just keeping it raw with you guys. I uh, hope you learned something or two about uh, today's video. Like I said, this is going to be a documentation series. In this video, you know, you're not going to get a clear cut answer of like, hey, what happened? Um, I'm really just taking you along, keeping it raw on, hey, like what I'm feeling, what's happening and the whole process, because this is this is what really happens. So uh, I will I will obviously update you guys in a future video, kind of see where what option I went with. Did I? pay out of pocket for a tongue tie release or did I just go with the AGA straight out, straight out and just skip all the procedures. I will update you guys on what happens next. I'm, I am again very committed to this journey. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.